president of Nigerian Senate, Bukala Saraki, has called on Christians and Nigerians across the nation to work towards emulating the virtue of Jesus Christ as optimized by his passion, persecution, death, and resurrection during Easter. In a message signed by his special advice on media and publicity, Yusuf Alaniyonu in Abuja, Saraki stated that all Nigerians must remain constant in their effort to promote unity across all lines. He noted that it was imperative for all Nigerians to come together in order to build a country that both present and future generations can take pride just like the work of Christ which has endured for over 2,000 years and has continued to inspire generations. Saraki stated, we join our Christian brothers and sisters in Nigeria and across the world to celebrate the Easter festivity. This commemoration is a time for deep reflection as it marks the sacrifice of Jesus Christ and his victory over death, it is time to reach out to our brother and sisters in need. It is also a time for all of us, regardless of faith or ethnicity, to come together to pray for the peace of our nation. We must all remain constant in our effort to promote unity across all lines because united, our nation remains stronger and we thrive as people. As we do this, we must all collectively work together, playing our part in the development of our nation and its economy, Saraki stated. As its Senate passed its 201 bill last Thursday, the President of the Senate, Bukola Saraki, has commended his colleague in the Eighth Senate for their support and hard work that allowed the upper legislative chamber to reach the milestone. In a tweet on his personal handle at Bukola Saraki, the Senate President said, As of today, the Senate has passed 201 bill. We still have 15 months to go, yet, we have reached this milestone. He said he would like to thank his colleague for their hard work and cooperation over the last 33 months. It will recall that the fifth Senate, 2003 to 2007, passed 129 bills in all. The sixth Senate, 2007 to 2011, passed 72 bills, and the seventh Senate. 2011 to 2015 are the total of 129 bill respectively. Justice Binta Yako of the Federal High Court Abuja has ordered the Senator representing Abia South in the Senate, Eyinaya Abaribi, and two others to produce the missing leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, in court come June 26. Kanu, who has pending charges of treasonable felony against him before the court, has not been seen since September 22, 2017. His team of lawyer and family declared him missing after Suja allegedly invaded his home in Nabia State during the military operation stage by the Nigerian Army to quell the secessionist activities of iPod in the southeast geopolitical zone of the country. Abaribe and two others, Toshuku Ushendo and Emmanuel Shalon Ben, had as a shorty for Kanu each signed 100 million naira bond for the bail granted the iPod leader in April last year. Due to Kano persistent absence from the court, Justice Inyaku, on February 20, 2017, ordered the separation of his trial from that of his rest of the court defender. The prosecution led by Mr. Shwaibu Laraban of the Department of the Public Prosecution of the Federal Ministry of Justice has subsequently arranged iPod leaders former co-defendant, March 20, 2018, on amended charges. Last Wednesday, the three shorty were present with their lawyer in court, but Kanu 
was absent. While Abaribi was represented by Chukuma Umisan, Tochuku was represented by Franklin Clude, and Shalom Ben was represented by Aloy Ejimako. Leading the prosecuting counsel, Labaran urged George to direct the three short tea to show cause as to why they should not forfeit their bail bond or be jailed for their failure to produce canon. But a Barbary lawyer urged the court to ignore the prosecution submission contending that the enrolled order of the court made on February 2018 was not served on the shorty. Labaran, however, noted that a Barbary lawyer had been aware of the court order since 2017 and that the court had thereafter given the three shorty time to show cause. He noted that Umer had filed an application as to why Abaribe could not produce Kanu in court. The court, in its reaction, ordered the prosecution to serve the enrolled order on the shorty. The judge then adjourned till June 26 for the shorty to show cause on why they should not forfeit their bail, bond, or go to jail. Lovely place, right? Yes. What's wrong? You don't look happy. Take a look around. Why can't my hotel be like this? I knew something was wrong, but I've got solution. Solution? What? Nanet. Nanet? Nanet offers you design solutions, building plans and construction, furnishing and equipping, financing, management, audit services, and many more services for a better hospitality business. Nanet, service with a smile. Senate President Bukala Saraki and all Progressive Congress National Chairman John Odige Oyegun were absent from 10th Bolatinubu Colloquium, which was attended by President Muhammad Buhari in Lagos last Thursday. The colloquium was organized annually as part of event to mark the birthday of national leader of the APC, Bala Tinubu, and this year's event, which was held at a co-hotel and suite, Victoria and Lagos, had the team investing in people. Other notable APC members absent were speakers of the House of Representative, Yakubu Dugara, and the Minister of Solid Minerals, Kayode Fayemi. It was not clear why all of them were absent at the event, but Oyegun is at the center of the one-year tenor elongation granted to the executive of the party at all levels, which Tunubu had openly opposed. Last Tuesday, during the 5th National Executive Council meeting of the APC in Abuja, President Muhammad Buhari also faulted the decision of the party's neck to grant one-year extension to the party executive, citing the breach of relevant section of the party constitution, as well as the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended as the basis for its option. The president therefore asked the party's name to reverse his earlier decision so as not to give opposition the ground on which to reap from the crisis which likely to result from the constitutional breaches. Tunumbu had hailed Buhari's stand on the matter. At the event, President Buhari said he was happy to celebrate the birthday of his friend and political partner, Bala Tunumbu. According to him, Ashwadu is widely known as a political strategy. He said he has come to see a man who cares about people, who is the fountain of idea for the economy of the common man and woman. According to him, Tunubu is a true humanitarian and he appreciates his contribution to Nigeria and Africa progress, he said. 
the president said his administration was working for the betterment of Nigeria, adding, we seek to replace corruption with correctness, insecurity with safety, and poverty with prosperity. On his part, Vice President Yemi Oshibadu recollected that when APC began the journey in 2014, it was determined to change the dominant narrative about the country. Oshibadu said, we are here determined to ensure that the notion of a country rich in natural resources, but even richer in human capital, but being destroyed daily by grand corruption and impunity in the looting of public resources was corrected. Describing the corruption as an existential problem for Nigeria, the vice president said, from all I've seen in government in the past three years, the corruption of the previous five years is what destroyed Nigeria economy. Every time we talk about corruption, our opponent says, don't talk about it, just do your own. We must talk. We will talk about it, said Vice President Oshibajo. The Yoruba Council of Elders has called on President Muhammadu Buhari to immediately sack all the security chiefs for the alleged inability to effectively curtail killing in different parts of the country, noting that some of the service chiefs were already overdue for retirement. The Yoruba Council of Elders urged President to reflect the federal character to balance ethnic composition in the reappointment. According to them, the recurrent massacre in Benue, Taraba, and Nasara State have lent credence to the accusation by a former Minister of Defense, Siofilo Danjuma, that the military was colluding with the killer's headmen to embark on ethnic cleansing. The Yoruba Council of Elders stated this in a community issue after their expanded national executive meeting held in Adwekiti last week in honor of its late president, Chief Ido. Sofala San, who died last week. The communique was signed by the Yoruba Council of Elder Secretary General Dr. Kunli Olajide and Chairman of the Ekiti Council of Elder Professor J.O. Olua Somi. It partly read, the Yoruba Council of Elder called on Mr. President to relieve the present security chief, some of whom are already overdue for retirement for their position and immediately reconfigure the security architecture of the country to reflect the federal character clause in our constitution. However, the council commended the federal government on the successful negotiation of the safe return of the Dabshi girls and urged the government to intensify effort for the safe return of the remaining pupils and Chibo girls who have been adopted since 2014. The meeting called on President Buhari to declare the rampaging X-Men as terrorists with immediate effect. It also advised the president to suspend granting amnesty to repentant Boko Haram members because it was unfavorable to do so now. The elders noted that the report of the governor Nasser Erifai of All Progressive Committee on Restructuring was a step in the right direction. They also called on the president to forward all the bills which the governor claimed had been drafted to National Assembly without any further delay. The Yoruba Council of Elders also appealed to the federal government not to dismiss the comment of the American founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates, on the country state of economy. The Nigerian Senate has thrown out the plan by Kaduna State Governor Malam Nasir Erifai to borrow a total sum of 350 million US dollar loan from the World Bank. The upper legislative chamber 
in a unanimous vote kick against the request when the chairman of senate committee on local and foreign debt senator sheo sani asked the senate to receive and consider the report of the committee on Cardona state development policy operation credit facility of 350 million us dollar from the world bank the three senator from the Cardona state apart from the resolution of the committee were in the agreement with the recommendation of the committee should be upheld with the high debt stock of Cardona state at the moment the new borrowing sort will make the debt service to ratio high, thereby worsening the state government's ability to meet its other basic obligations to the people and further erode the economic viability of the state. The committee wishes to express its gratitude to the President of the Senate, the leadership and distinguished senators for the confidence reposed on it to carry out the assignment. The committee therefore moves that the Senate do reject Kaduna State Development Policy Operation in the sum of US dollar 350 million only as contained in the 2016-2018 borrowing plan of Mr. President and Commander in Chief. As a representative of my own people and indeed for this chamber for whatever reason the Nigerian law stipulates that this very important chamber shall moderate to approve for such facility. I crave the indulgence of our colleagues that the application of that loan, among other things, is indeed a misplaced priority as we have clearly seen. And hence, I strongly strongly stand behind the prayer of the chairman of the committee that this very important chamber do reject that request for the loan. A request for a loan was passed to this chamber to discuss why should a loan be given. I felt the loan is not important as far as I'm concerned. And I am a messenger of my people, my constituency. I am representing my constituency. My constituency did not give me the authority for a loan to be approved whatsoever may be the case. Soon after Deputy Majority Leader Bala Ibi Ala remarks, the Deputy Senate President Ike Kurimadu, who presided over the plenary, put it to voice vote and the nay had it all. Apart from the resolution of the main committee, the three senators appear to be in agreement that uh, the recommendation of the committee should be upheld by this Senate. It appears that the wisdom of the Senate will be to accord the respect that our senators deserve in our midst and to go by their thinking and then maybe put this thing to vote. This is how I see it, sir. Regrettably so. The prayer is that the Senate do reject Cardinal State Development Policy Operation DPO in the sum of 350 US dollars, 250 million US dollars only as contained in 2016 to 2018 external borrowing, borrowing plan of Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. Those in support of this recommendation say aye. aye. Those against say nay. Yeah. Those in support of the recommendation say aye. aye. Those in support say nay. Yeah. The eyes are fit, so the loan is appropriately rejected. Senator Ekremadu was surprised and trying to give Elvai soft landing, decided to put in into second time and is still added and he ruled the law rejected by the Senate as 25 years maturity period.